Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's Tuesday morning here in the shed. Tuesday morning. And uh, yeah, we have these games left to list. Yes. We listed uh, just one of the one of the game one of the one game of the series. series yes and we actually sold something um, yeah overnight so i'm um, excited about that and so we're gonna get orders pulled and then we're gonna um we're gonna list the rest of these like we're gonna tag team it that's what we did yesterday um i sat and created the listings and he did the photos and did the gave me the weights and measurements and stored it so that was it made it really fast and easy we listed like what like eight listings in yeah. about what 15 minutes or yeah. something it was crazy fast it, it was, was stupid it, it was good it, it wasn't probably fit it was probably more like 30 to 40 minutes but still it was it was yeah. nice it was easy yeah so uh while he's packing stuff this morning i'm gonna pull some odds and ends off the shelf and we're gonna tag team that again but first i think you pulled a question from the yeah. comments right yeah good question well sort of good sort of good sort of not all right what you got <laughs> okay um this is from where's my socks <laughs> okay why didn't you speak to the slowdown in sales it seems like this last algorithm change has really reduced sales for many including myself lonnie i heard you say re recently say the same thing talk about that okay well the, the question i think it's a good question but in some ways, in some ways, it's not a great question because it's saying, I, why didn't you speak to it? And then two sentences later, Lonnie, I heard you recently say the same thing. Yeah. So I, 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 I think what they're wanting to know is what is our theory on the eBay messing with things and affecting sales? I, well, what do you think? I, uh, first of all, do you, do you really, do you feel like there is a, like a global, like it's a real phenomena that eBay slows are eBay slows or eBay sales are are slower than they should be. You know, I was actually thinking about this. I know eBay has been trying to introduce like social media, more different, more marketing type things. So I think they are kind of messing with the system, trying to improve, and so there are like outages and sales. Um. I'm wondering if it has something to do with them just messing with things behind the scenes. Well, you see all kind of weird stuff going on. Like, um, we've noticed that Candace actually noticed this the other day. She said, we must have two day handling on everything. Yes. Cause she, she was looking at the eBay app while I was driving. I was looking at our solds on the eBay app and it was showing that we had two day handling to ship it said out. ship well it was like a saturday and it was, it, was for, it was friday when we were at garage sales and, and and the orders that had come in that day were saying ship by tuesday yes and candace is like is the post office closed monday well no yeah that was my first thought and then i remembered um we had done briefly two-day handling when he had the jury duty thing right. and i'm like did we i know we turned it back on did it not take or what's going on yeah so when we got home um, I went on the computer on the desktop version of eBay and it was saying to ship by Monday. So app saying ship by Tuesday, desktop saying ship by Monday. And then I looked, um, Sunday, it was still saying it's that. still, it's still doing it now. Yeah. Well, an order that we got this morning early, uh, is should say ship by Wednesday, uh, on the app, but it's saying ship by Thursday. So and it's not just us. Um, some, uh, couple other people in the facebook group mentioned that it happened to them and they were like what's going on so right it's not just our account that this is happening to but yeah so i'm all i am as far as speaking to slow sales on ebay i am always a little hesitant to go there um because anytime you start saying sales are slow on ebay you'll always find people that will agree with you yeah, minor slow two, minor slow two, minor slow two, and then they'll kind of like back each other up on that and and come up with reasons and this and that. Conspiracy theories, yeah. It, that's the kind of a thing. Like in in reseller groups or or even on YouTube, there's plenty of people that have slow sales on eBay for a myriad of reasons, even when times are good. So for me to say that um, eBay as a whole is slow. I, I hesitate. However, I kind of think it is. I, I think it's true. And 
like well, it doesn't help the time of year for one thing not for us yeah like we're starting to get great inventory well, in not now only that, but just economically it's just oh yeah economically it's generally a slow time of year no but in general we have banks failing yep. uh interest rates are up uh the economy is the economy is not looking good and the forecast looks worse um and a lot of the stuff that people sell on ebay i was thinking about this the other day because somebody was talking about our cookbook buy um and they're like i don't see why people would have a problem with that it's not like it's food or medicine or water or something yeah, it's not and a necessity. It's not a necessity. And then I was like, yeah, that's right. It's not. And I'm like, hang on a second. Pretty much everything in this shed that we sell on eBay, nobody needs any of it. Yeah. Like none of the stuff we sell is like it's nobody not, needs. It's not like uh, during the pandemic when people were scalping uh, hand sanitizer and mask. But I mean, none of this stuff, right? No, like it's, nobody it's all, needs. It's all disposable. Nobody needs those games. Nobody needs those pops. Nobody needs a poster. They might need those boots for work. Yeah, they might need the boots. <laughs> this paddle game. See, I say the paddle game, and that's all I need. And this remote control. The I say the paddle game and the remote control, and that's all I need. But, but like, I, I think that's, I know there are a lot of people that sell, like, tools and, and other, like, necessity type things that people can use. That's not us. We don't sell a lot of that kind of stuff. We sell a lot of toys. Yeah. You know? And, and so, when, when money's tight and people need to cut things, that's the kind of things that get cut. Right. I, I just think it's a fact that people aren't spending. I think there are eBay site issues. Definitely. Because you remember yesterday morning? sales were like dead for a period of time and yeah. then bam like six orders just came in almost instantaneously right so there is i don't know if maybe things are selling and they're just not getting to us you know like it's not showing to us yet or i don't know what's going on but we, we, we we've been fortunate though we've been having some pretty good inventory roll in and um our sales have started to pick up and our actually we've been working pretty hard we We've, I feel like we've been working hard enough to get better sales than we've had. Yeah. So I do think that there is an issue. I think there's an issue with eBay. I think there's an issue with the economy. Yep. It's and, all, it's like, it's, it's like, uh, what do you call it? Um, perfect storm. Yeah. Like okay. a perfect storm. Yeah. yeah I, I, I think there's a lot of issues now. Um, I do also feel like we've spoken to this too. Uh, if you want like the biggest thing we could do to, to let you know, that there are issues with e not eBay issues are slow sales is why do you think we're cross posting now? Yeah. Why do you think we, we, we got list perfectly? Yeah. We've never, ever done that. We've never done that. Never. If sales were awesome, we wouldn't be doing it now. We wouldn't have even considered it. <laughs> so yeah. the eBay, the eBay slowdown. Uh, and I know a lot of people probably think I've been talking about eBay for how long? On YouTube, I think for since for like seven years now, and a lot of people probably think I'm an eBay shill paid by eBay or something like that. Not, they've never given me anything. We spend the same money everybody else does on fees. We don't have a contact there. I talk to overseas support, whatever I call in. You know, like that we get nothing special. As a matter of fact, they might they probably don't like us much, even though we send them thousands of dollars of, of, in fees every month, right? Yeah. But um, we we we're we're cross posting because our sales have not been satisfactory. So yeah, there's definitely a slowdown uh, in our sales on eBay, and I know there. I've, I've seen a lot of other people talk about it also. However, I've always seen a lot of people talk about slow sales, yeah. even when I didn't experience that. So and there are people that are like, I'm doing the best I've ever done. So right. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then like and then you'll see someone say well i haven't had a sale in three weeks and it's like well then you don't know yeah. like you never know like like what exactly like maybe you don't know if it's somebody like with a legitimate resale operation going and they have like great items and they just aren't selling 
which is possible, I guess, but probably not. Not or, in three weeks. Yeah. No, or if it's someone with just crappy inventory and they're not selling. And they didn't, you know, they're, they've gone down from one sale a month to no sales a month. Is that really that big of a phenomenon? Probably not, right? So yeah. you don't you don't always know the source. But yeah, certainly a, a slowdown in sales. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and and it's weird the way it comes in, like Candace was saying, used to be we'd go to bed and wake up, look at phone, there'd be two to three sales overnight on average. Mm -hmm. Now, well, this morning that happened, we had a couple of sales overnight, but... Uh, actually Actually, they weren't. When I woke up at 5.30, they weren't there. It happened, like, after I got up at Okay, so between 5.30 and 7.30, I yeah. guess. Mm hmm but lately like we'll have we've had plenty of days where we'll have like dead eight hour 12 hour blocks yeah zero sales that's and, never happened and that's never happened before no. so what is it i don't know what are we doing uh we're trying to adapt yeah we are trying to adapt we're trying to source the best stuff we can we we are cross posting as much as we can we're listing as much as we can, and that's all we could do, right? Yeah. It's, that's all we could do. It's out of our hands after that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we're, we're doing what we can, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Sales for us have been decent, but we've had to put way more effort than we usually do into it. Yeah. Uh, we actually have sales on... I was hoping we would have sales on three different platforms to show y'all today. No, four different platforms, but we sold on three different platforms uh, in the past 24 hours. So we need to go ahead and get, pull those orders. It was it was a good sale. We actually had a couple of good sales days lately. Yeah, it was pretty good. This week. Yeah, I'm so. pleased with it. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, eight Bravo, lot of 10 Disney Infinity Power Discs. See, like that's that, that kind of inventory is fire. How come it didn't sell already? <laughs> <laughs> no you see that's that's the thing like i'm glad to sell that and that's a cool item for someone but that's that kind of thing is the first thing so, that will stop selling if there's any kind of mm -hmm. you know economic downturn right yeah where is it eight bravo what eight bravo marvel power discs okay eight bravo that's a weird location for that item i think I would expect that to be in like a pocket or something. I think when I listed them, they didn't have pockets. Okay. Oh, I know where they're at. They're in this little, uh, there's a little cubby thing up here. I got them. Ooh, I, I was starting to think we didn't have them. Does it say Delta on it somewhere? Or D? Delta? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't catch that. These right here. They're still over $10. Okay. Uh, five Foxtrot. Uh, it's a Dale Earnhardt trailer trailer rig. <laughs> five Foxtrot Earnhardt trailer rig. Okay. Oh, I see it. Man, I had no idea this was listed. Man, this, this is a big old thing here. Yeah, it's over ten dollars. Wow. All right. See, now that's the good stuff. You got to have the good inventory to sell. Right? Like this next thing. What's that? Seven Charlie. Bradford Exchange. U.S. Marine Corps motorcycle. Seven. Okay. See? You got to have the good stuff. <laughs> I'm being very, very sarcastic here, y'all. <laughs> we do have some good stuff. But we also have uh, some stuff that will sell slow, for sure. Uh, which shelf you say, Candace? Seven Charlie. Oh, Charlie. All right. That's on me. And here we go. Got it. It's the one with the uh, swords for handlebars. Is that accurate? Can you see it? Let me pull it up. So it does say as is. Handlebar cracked is what it says on this. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so yeah, we've sold two of the four enlisted out of your little motorcycle buy. Yeah, I wanted you to know to be careful when packing that. Okay. Without that handlebar. That sold for $20. D&D &D drawer. Carbine 
handbook maintenance service handbook you know what whenever i bought these uh we haven't sold any of these yet i may have i may have to drop the price a tad on them eventually these high-end uh books about guns oh yeah one of the gun one of those books had that was this it was like in it okay yeah and that's, and, that's over ten dollars you know what's funny what? these books are all like worth over a hundred dollars a piece and you sold that sold this and then but this actually pays for that lot of books because we only paid five dollars for those books right. <laughs> okay what I we got a pocket 45 tesla for nintendo game boy not tesla what <laughs> i'm trying to i didn't know what you were talking about tetris tetris okay yeah okay and apparently this is a gift they don't want an invoice in the package right what does no, it say it no invoices receipts or paperwork please test it thoroughly and clean it before shipping out <laughs> okay <laughs> so they want us to gift wrap it too yeah gift 15 dollars for that well, I think we did get drop shipped on that, by the way. I don't think it's really a gift. <laughs> uh, somebody somebody bought ours. It probably sold it on Amazon or something like that. Right. Okay. Um, 11 Alpha cane tip for $10. Oh, okay. We have two left after that. Yeah, we've actually... I can't... Yeah, we do. I see two of them. I'm, I can't believe we've actually sold almost all of them. We had, like, how many of them? I don't know, like 20 oh, of them. Yeah. We've sold through a bunch. All right, Walmart pen. Yeah. Uh, 50. Walmart pen, 50. Here we go. I'm assuming that's cross posted, huh? Yeah, I actually went into uh, I went into the list perfectly and marked it as sold already. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a Walmart employee pen, five year anniversary. It's red with a gold star, sold for ten dollars. Mm. 50 that's it right there got it while you're on 10 echo putting that up mm -hmm. craftsman one hour battery charger model there's something somebody needs yep. what, where is it 10 charlie 10 echo 10 echo okay 10 delta echo Allegedly, there's a battery charger. Okay, I had no idea this was here. Sure is. What do we get for those? Fifteen dollars. Alrighty. Something useful. Let's do some more. For a Delta Draculaura C. Oh, okay. One of these. This, oh, okay. We do have a. I thought we didn't have any Monster High going out today, but we do. Yeah. Draculaura C. Got her. $30. DD drawer, the blue stomper. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. I did take an offer on it. Somebody messaged me, asked if I would take 70. I countered with 80, and they agreed. Yeah. $80. And we have, we got this in your uh, ten dollar fill a bag. Yeah. yeah. At an estate sale. I've dug around in a, a laundry basket full yeah. of toys. All right, we have some boots on two F. Okay. Those are cross posted. Did you take those down? Yeah, I took them off the list perfectly. Also, I marked them uh, sold. You said two F. Yeah. I guess boots are always useful too. Oh man, they're way down. Here. They're steel toe. Okay, that must be all the way back here. Sorry for the camera work, y'all. That was not easy to get those out. Okay, got them. So those could be a necessity. They could be. Sell those for twenty-seven. I think we paid five dollars for this. In, in my bad, I, I listed them and I didn't put the word boots in the title. So yeah, it took a while to sell. It doesn't say it. It says five eleven tactical men's ATAC six inch shield, side zip size nine dot five, 
U.S. steel toe never says boots. <laughs> My shoes, nothing. We actually have a question in our uh, YouTube, on our YouTube account, asking about uh, advice with eBay titles. Well, put it, put what the item is. <laughs> <laughs> Three Charlie, all Italian. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know what? We actually have two. I'll go ahead and pull the other one also. We sold one on Etsy, huh? We sold one on Etsy, one on eBay, and we don't know when or if we'll get paid for the one on Etsy. Yeah. But you know what? I think we will. I have confidence in you, Etsy. Not their fault, really. Alrighty. Got them. Alright, in the cube... Uh, one of the video game parts we listed yesterday, not video game, board games we listed <laughs> yesterday from um, Cthulhu. Cthulhu? Cthulhu Death May Die Black Go to the Woods expansion. Black Go to the Woods. Here we go. $80 for that. Nice. Does it have two figures in it? I have no idea what it has in it. It's a sealed box to me. Uh, contents. It has Elder One stage cards times four. Has a minions card times one, mythos cards times eight. Then it's got a dark young and a black go to the woods. Yep. Unpainted, I guess. Yeah, they're all unpainted. 80 bucks plus shipping for that, right? Yep. I think. $80. Three Bravo uh, cookbook. Feliciana favorites. Feliciana. <laughs> I know, that was weird the way you. Because <laughs> that's not how it's we It's Feliciana. 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 Okay, we're, what is it called again? <laughs> Three Bravo Feliciana favorites. Okay, I see it. That was a pretty good one, huh? $25. That's really good. That's yeah. that's kind of high for a cookbook. Yeah. When it comes to cookbooks. And last thing on eBay, 10 Charlie PSP game, God of War, Chains of Olympus. Okay, that's one of the... Uh, games i just listed the other day from our private pick yep god of war chains of olympus got it yep uh we do have well we have something that sold Poshmark. we have a poshmark sale which we'll go ahead and pull now and then we also have another ebay order uh that's bigger it's going to go ups that i'm going to pull after i pack all this stuff yep. But uh, yeah, we did sell on all on three out of the four platforms we list on though. Yeah. Because one of these is for Etsy. Yeah. All right, so we sold a Papa John's hat. It's on Ten Echo. It's um, it's black and red, and I have eight in the title, so. Okay. I'm sure I must have labeled them. I don't think usually we won't we won't even put the same hat in the same box. Right. And then I may not have. I may have just done that because of reusing the title. Right. Oh, we do have two hats in here. Okay. And I do see stickies in here. Okay. So yeah, that's yeah, that's one. And then here's the other one. This yeah, I've got A right here. Okay. All right, so that is uh cross posted. So we need to go ahead and take it down. I'm gonna click on the little list perfectly icon up here. And go to my listings. And we got to do this to make sure it doesn't sell on eBay before we take it down. Yeah. And then we have hat A and B there. So we're going to click here. And we're going to um, select to mark sold. And mark sold on any platform it's on, it will take it off. Or to mark it, you know, sold. I think it will actually end... In this case, it's going to end the item. On eBay. On eBay. Yeah. And any, any other platform. So it's pulling up Poshmark, which is it's going to say not found because it's already sold on there. Right. And then on eBay, you'll see it's going to end the listing. You could see, look, list perfectly, overlay says it's ended, and then over there it says it's ended. Yep. So. Just that simple. Uh, if you do want to try out list perfectly, if you if you want to try out cross posting, we do have a referral code down below for thirty percent off your first month. It's right below the video in the uh, description of the video. Yep, and there's also a a trial period too. So like if you want to try it for a day, and then you say, okay, this is horrible, I want to do something else, uh, then you could immediately cancel, and then uh, there's no cost. So we've been enjoying it so far. Uh, it's it's made cross-posting actually doable. If we had to manually 
cross post this stuff it wouldn't happen no and we wouldn't have sold that hat no we just we don't have enough time to sit there and manually create all these listings on other platforms all, all, all right candace just we just finished eating lunch and uh candace just said all right fine <laughs> we'll show them you had three people have asked what's in our mini fridge i keep getting questions lately and this is something new i don't know if it's always been there why okay. are people all of a sudden interested? Are we going to look into the mini fridge here? Uh, are y'all ready? It, You're going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Drinks and hot sauce. Plenty of hot sauce for Lonnie. <laughs> yep, I got some wing sauce. Uh, some tartar sauce. Some horseradish. Yeah. yeah. Some little lunch type things. Oh, that's some free hot sauce no, we got it's from... All, it's all like hot sauce and condiments. And we usually have bottled water in here. We're out right now. And Coke Zero. Yeah, Coke Zero is so good. Yeah. I don't even know why they make Diet Coke anymore. I know. I, I don't know why people drink it. It's so no. bitter. Huh? Diet Coke is like, it must be the same reason why they kept making tab. But yeah, that does that solve the mystery? Yeah, it's nothing <laughs> exciting. Uh, we, no. We don't keep any inventory in there. <laughs> <laughs> Live worms or anything like that. <laughs> All right, we did have one more order to pull, and that was this Sony disc changer. This was in the death pile. And we sold it on eBay for $64.99 plus shipping on top. All right, we um we we just finished tag teaming the um the indie game Kickstarter stuff. Yeah, that's the last stuff right there on we the just scale. Finished that one there. So let's go take. We wrote our totals down. Um, the post human um stuff we did all together for two hundred. Now the Chithulu? Chithulu. Chithulu. We um Thulu. we actually broke that up. That's a um that's a sought after set, and the the individual pieces go for a lot. And we already today we actually sold one for ninety. Yeah, there there's a and there's a lot of actives and sold. This yeah, is yeah, this is a popular one. Yeah, th this one, this is one. This is the one that Candace actually looked up on the spot. Right. And that's when we decided we didn't look anything else up. We decided to buy all of it based on this. Yeah. Right here um solomon that's not the full name solomon kane yeah um we listed the whole, everything together 800 right busters everything together 500 and then vanguard everything together for 300 so the chathulu <laughs> stop hey I, I couldn't do it any better I'm... it's the only game that we um <laughs> sold and everything out pieced it out so um that brings our total before fees to 29.60 so very happy with that if it all sells yeah like some of this is so obscure this vanguard the vanguard is questionable Reich Busters is a little questionable. I feel like Solomon Solomon Kane, I think, is gonna sell. We maybe not for that price. Right. Although there was a very recent active, I mean sold that did go for that. That's where we got our number from. Right. Some like some of these numbers we may have to take a little bit less on. Yeah. Some we might not. So I mean this number might end up looking more like twenty five hundred by the right. time it's all said, you know, or it might we might get that amount. We're gonna yeah. give it some time though. Yeah. But man, what a You're you're happy, huh? Cuz you thought it was going to be like 1000 to 1500, huh? Well, no, I didn't know. I, I I thought it was about 2000, so Right. Yeah. Okay, you were closer. I'm happy. I was just that was just a guess though without, you know, looking and, stuff up. And since we only busted up one set, it was not a lot of work with both of us working on it. So. No, Candace was doing a lot of the research work mm -hmm. and then um Building well, the, building the listing, and I was, and then we were going through a few times. We were like comparing, like what came with the Kickstarter sets. Yeah, because with Kickstarter, sometimes they have like the early, early investors get more, and then there's other tiers that get less. It and gets less. really confusing. Yeah, like this last one, there was two different pledge sets, and one of them, only one of them had the core game, and one was an expansion. It, it's confusing. So, um, yeah, that took a lot, lot of research to figure that out. And um, I think we got it all right. So. No, I, yeah, we did. We did good. And yeah. we just we would just put everything out here. And then can I would take photos and Candace would set things up and I would take photos. And, yeah, and we have all the shipping figured out and everything. So, yeah, yeah that was good. Yeah. That was good. I enjoy I enjoy the tag teaming of, of the listing, too. Yeah. 
because it's it, obviously we can't do that when we're listing things that are like fifteen dollars or, or something. even yeah just single items but when right. you have something this complex it really helps to have two brains on the job right so yeah especially two especially two senile brains like us and now we're going to start listing some mindless things <laughs> or candace is i am too yeah we've got plenty of other stuff to list man we like I'm going to pull out the baseball chest protector things yeah. and see if, if those are worth listing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know if that stuff, I, I don't have real high hopes for the baseball portion of that haul. Uh, but yeah, we get, the only way to find out is to list it Yeah. and then list it and then if see what happens. If we still have it in a year, I guess we'll pull it down and donate it or something. Right. Exactly. <laughs> something like that. Or maybe even after this, uh, yeah, after the summer or something. Right. But yeah, I'm pretty uh pretty pretty pumped about that. Wait, that that was good. That was really good. Yeah, that was a good find. It feels good putting those numbers on the spreadsheet too and watching the how, how much have we let's see, it's Tuesday today? Yesterday our total was fifteen seventy seven. Uh-huh. And today it's sixteen seventy five. So our total for the week already is like thirty thirty two something? Yeah, thirty two. Wow. Yeah. That's really high for us. We have weeks where we don't do that much. The whole week, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, easy. Yeah. I think maybe last week is one of those weeks. Right. If we don't have like really good inventory to list, sometimes it's hard to get those numbers up. So, mm -hmm. all right. I think that uh, I think we're gonna just you know list wrap a few, list a few odds and ends. Wrap mm -hmm. this sucker up, and we will see y'all again very soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye y'all. Bye.